start now. Okay, so uh, once again, now officially a very warm welcome to this live Zoom session of the IPEA MOOC. We are very, very happy to welcome you today and uh, to give you a short introduction on the course and also to um, yeah, familiarize yourself with us, the course team. And uh, yeah, so welcome to all of you. It's, it's great to see that many of you have posted in the forum already. Uh, there's a wide variety of people from different countries with different backgrounds. And all of you uh, have such expertise already that I cannot wait to see uh, the work in the MOOC and I hope you enjoy our course very much. So um, what is it about? Uh, IPEA stands for Inclusive Peer Learning with Augmented Reality, which is the purpose of our MOOC. We want to uh, experience show you ways to combine peer learning with augmented rea reality and uh, give you the chance to uh, get our to get to know our approach and then to try out one little project by yourself so um, who are we as you, you might have seen before but just in detail now there's the uh, these uh, partners of this erasmus plus project are uh, FAU, which stands for Friedrich Alexander Universität Erlangen Nürnberg. So I welcome um, Ruth Malenstreck, who is my dear colleague and coordinates the project with us. And uh, then we have the partners from um, the International Hellenic University. Um, George is here. Maybe you want to say hello as well. Hello, everybody. My name is uh, George Sergopoulos. Um, I am from the Aetma Lab of the International Hellenic University. Uh, we focus on uh, augmented reality technologies. So in week two, you will see a lot of us, of our uh, material in the, in the MOOC. Uh, welcome to the MOOC and uh, hope, hopefully you will learn a lot about augmented reality and how to use it for uh, educational purposes. Thank you very much, George. And uh, he's the real expert on our AR tools. So I'm very happy that uh, yeah, George will take the lead in week two. So the next partner uh, is NTNU, today represented by uh, Chrisa Demeli. Hi, Chrisa, would you like to say hello, Chris? Hello, everyone from Norway. We are responsible for the pedagogical strategy and the competing of our case study. Um, and Tenu is responsible along with all the other partners for week three. So I'm looking forward to our discussion regarding pedagogy, philosophy, and thoughts. Thank you. And uh, so I'm coming to the next partner, uh, which is uh, Acto from Athens, Alex. Hello. <laughs> hello, hello, everyone from Athens. I, I don't want to uh, take uh, a lot of your time, just to wish you all the best. And this is a really nice MOOC and uh, a really nice project. A lot of work has been done by everyone, especially by the German uh, partners, which we thank, the leaders. And wish you all the best. Enjoy the course. Thank you, Alex. And thank you, uh, obviously, the work is between the partners, but uh, we, uh, the Friedrich Alexander uh, Universität Erlangen Nürnberg, is leading this week, and uh, we are also coordinating the project. Ruth, do you want to say a quick hello? Hello from from Erlangen as well from FAU. Glad to to see you all here, as much as you are visible. Glad to have you in the course. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, then uh, our other partner is Yusen, and uh, I welcome Diana to say hello as well. 
Yes, I'm also happy to, um, to join today the meeting and also I would like to welcome all the participants to the MOOC and um, I'm Diana Trevino and I'm working at UCAN, which is a European continuing education network and um, I hope that you all will learn a lot about peer learning and augmented reality and to get some basic knowledge via the MOOC and yes, I'm very looking, very much looking forward to the upcoming weeks. Thank you. And last but not least, last not least uh, special credits to Professor Rudi Kammer, who is also present today, who is the Chair of Media Education at our university. And this is where this project is located. So, um, so enough about us. Now I want to talk a bit about the course. And uh, this means a short summary. The course will take four weeks. And uh, these four weeks are split up in four units. Uh, you will take an approximately time of eight hours in total. And we have two optional live events. One you are taking part in now, and the next one uh, is next Friday. And you will find the information in the course and we'll send you reminders by email. Next week, you will uh, be able to watch a live presentation of our NTNU partners, the Interlab. Uh, who will show you the usage of HoloLens. And uh, as today, the particip participation sorry, is optional, uh, there will also be a video um, then presented in the unit of the course. As of today, we have 496 participants. So we are very happy about this huge number. I hope that everyone will uh, follow through the course and that we will get a lot of projects out of it. Um, the idea is that you are creating an own IP, a little uh, IP project, which means a little augmentation and uh, together with a bullet point description of the pedagogical background. But uh, you will start uh, slowly and then uh, will lead you from week to week to uh, present uh, or upload this final work in week four. So in a bit more detail, um, you've seen that in this uh, week one, there's this introduction. So we'll ask you kindly to just go through the material, you find videos uh, that summarize the course. Uh, please watch them, get familiar with the course material. Um, there's a Padlet where you can uh, post a picture of yourself to make it easier for others to uh, see you and to introduce yourself uh, wherever you would like to. One introduction you should do, namely in unit in the forum of uh, unit week one. However, then the idea is that you find peers to work with throughout the course. You don't have to find peers. However, we highly recommend it because uh, with finding peers and trying out augmented reality with peers, you uh, get the full, um, yeah, full event or the, the full ideas of our IP approach. Then at the end of week one, we'll ask you to answer a quiz. Um, don't you worry, the quiz is not too difficult. I will try to uh, uh, keep you in the course so that the workload is not too much. But uh, on the other side, of course, we want to make sure that you uh, get the, the material and that you understand uh, the week tasks. You will also find a task sheet on each unit of the course to print out if you prefer to work like that. Or you can just step by step uh, do the tasks on the site itself. Then in unit uh, two, which starts in week two, um, you will get to know a basic set of AR tools. We present two of them um, in detail, and then uh, we'll ask you to try out one of them. Obviously, we are very happy if you try out both, but uh, you just should uh, upload um, your first try, your first experience to a uh, folder. Um, but you get a detailed explanation and in week two in Greek and English uh, to ensure that you uh, find your 
uh, way to do that. And also George, uh, as the um, expert uh, who, who is from uh, IHU, who, from the AETMA lab, who actually uh, programmed the one of the tools you're using. So you've got the real expert guiding you through the week. Then, as well, as I said before, and you can watch voluntarily, watch uh, Wololens, which is the, the research interest of our Norwegian partner. Uh, this is optional, and uh, but it might be in, of interest for you. And uh, again, as this time, it's not a quiz you'd have to do, but fill in the midterm evaluation. Then you're already in week three, <laughs> where we again ask you to watch uh, some videos and read uh, short documents about the pedagogy. And in this week three, uh, Chrissa from uh, NGNU is the lead because uh, she's the expert in pedagogy and uh, uh, will guide you with any questions you have in the forums of uh, the unit. And then week three, we then ask you to conceptualize now the pedagogical background. But don't you worry, you don't have to write huge uh, uh, scripts. Uh, bullet points are enough for us. We just want to, uh, to ensure that you understood the combination of the practical side, the AR tool, and the pedagogical background, the IP approach we introduce you to in these weeks. And then finally, in week four, um, we ask you to bring it together namely to um, combine the AR uh, augmentation that you have created and tried out in week uh, two and three, and then basically as a final assignment, upload this augmentation together with the pedagogical bullet point description in the assignment folder. Then we ask you to fill in the evaluation, and that's it, that's the way to get your certificate. So basically, um, you will uh, get information from us about the tools, about the pedagogy. Then you will have the chance to try it out with guidelines that you find in the course material. And uh, most importantly, we ask you to use the expertise of us, obviously, which is in the course, but of your fellow uh, peers, because as I said beforehand, uh, it's such a promising uh, unit one forum when I, I'm so excited reading about all your background in AR and other fields. And uh, I'm, I'm sure that if you work together, then uh, you'll um, have a lot of experience, a lot of background, a lot of help, but also hopefully. Uh, some fun in trying out this IPA approach. So um, this is a very quick running through the course because I don't want to take uh, too much of your time. Um, so if you have any questions, obviously we are here now and, and we are happy to answer some questions now, but also please use the um, uh, forums of each week uh, to ask us questions. And I, I'm, uh, I forgot earlier on to welcome um, the uh, Augustus Tsimakis, who's the professor of IHU and one of the major um, participants of our project. So um, please, I hand over to Augustus. Um, hello, thank you, uh, Iris. And uh, I would like also to welcome everybody in this uh, MOOC. Um, I hope you enjoy, you will enjoy all the learning process. Uh, one uh, small detail that I would like to add in uh, to your comments, Iris, is that uh, the AR Tutor platform is also uh, available in German as well. So for those who would like to use uh, uh, this platform in German, uh, this is also available. Okay, and for others uh, that are going to join uh, um, this MOOC, please explore the rest of the languages, because there are 10 languages available in this platform. So your location may be in uh, between those languages that is already available in AR. Uh, I hope everybody has a very useful experience throughout the MOOC, and uh, we'll be here to assist you in every step. Thank you very much.
Ja, thank you, Augustus, and um, as I say, I'm very happy to hear from you. And what I'll do now is I uh, stop the presentation, and uh, now we can see some of you. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, please raise your hand, and uh, then we'll, we are very happy to answer the questions or try to answer the questions. So. Yeah, I was expecting that because obviously it is all, it is only the first week and uh, you have to get familiar with the topic. And so we'll be with you. Um, I am, as you can, could see those of you who, who looked at the forum and, and trying to answer the post in due course. Um, but obviously I also want to, uh, I think about it and not, uh, so it is not a, um, set up uh, response that I have already prepared. So I'm uh, really answering individually. And uh, this might take some time, but we will definitely answer within a day to every post you're making. So I'm leaning out now because we've got 496 uh, participants. So if I work through uh, the next four weeks um, a lot, I'll be very happy to answer all comments. And I Wish you a, a lot of uh, uh, yeah fun with the course, and I, I hope that you gain a lot of experience and that uh, uh, you get interested in using our approach in your own uh, field of work in your courses. And uh, as a um, well, I can give a, a quick outlook to week four because we also uh, would like to see you later. Um, uh, to stay with us because we are um, having a conference in 2023 in Greece. So this project is ongoing and um, your expertise uh, will help us to um, yeah, learn something as well. And also we give you the chance to uh, present in, uh, at our conference in Greece or um, via live stream. So, yeah. So thank you all for being here today. I wish you a great post start. And as I said, don't want to repeat myself all the time, but we are very happy to hear from you. So I wish you a good start, a good Friday afternoon and a nice weekend. And hopefully we'll see each other um, next week with a follow next presentation. So thank you and bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.